Today we're taking you back to the Springfield Museums, talking with one of our favorites. This is Maggie North. And Maggie, today we're going to be discussing contemporary and modern art. Correct. And I want to focus especially today on modern and contemporary artwork by women artists. And we're here in the Demore Museum of Fine Arts in the Modern and Contemporary Gallery, where we have a selection of wonderful examples by female artists. You do. In fact, I'm, I'm going to admit it, I've never actually been to this part of the museum. The, the pieces of art are absolutely fantastic, and not least of which is the piece we're standing in front of. This is a, a sculpture. Absolutely. So this is a sculpture by Mary Frank, who's a contemporary artist. She's still living today. And she studied not just fine art and abstract art at that, but she also studied modern dance. And I think that that interest in both visual form as well as dynamic movement and energy it looks like comes this woman's through in this piece. Almost. Absolutely. And one thing that's really interesting about this sculpture is that Mary Frank, when she first started to create sculpture, she works in a variety of media. But when she started to create, she had a very small kiln. So rather than fire the pieces as a as a complete and total piece, oh, is this made up she of smaller fired pieces? separate pieces and no then kidding. put them together. So it's really fascinating. And I think it's very emblematic of um, women in art history and the role that they're playing. This is made in 19. 79, so it's really second wave feminism is in full swing. Ah. And what you see here is a striding woman. So she's striding forward and she looks as if she's walking into the wind or she's right, um, exactly. facing some sort of adversity, but yet she's pushing forward. And so she's I very love this confident sculpture. About it. Absolutely. I think she's an inspiration to all of us as we go through our daily lives. I think so. Now let's change mediums here. This is a sculpture. How about that large painting you wanted to talk about? Absolutely. Is it called the cave? It's called the Cave. That is by Helen Frankenthaler, another fantastic female artist in the collection. And she was a pioneer of the soak stain painting, which was an ab part of the abstract expressionist movement. Soak stain, is that referring to how it's made or painted? Exactly. So she would actually lay her canvases down and pour paint on top of them and allow the paint to sort of stain areas of the canvas. Huh. So she really embraced this idea that the paint could do the work and that you could create these beautiful uh, fluid abstract scenes and she was very influential. I will say that's one of the largest paintings I've ever seen. It's huge, it's yes. Massive. <laughs> and briefly tell me what makes something modern or contemporary that's art. That's a great question. Here in our galleries we think of contemporary as anything that is beyond about 1950 but modern can span the 20th century. So one of the fun things about this gallery is you find a variety of media. You find sculpture, ceramics, paintings, drawings, and lots and lots of color. It has something for everyone, doesn't yes. it? This is a permanent exhibit, always on display. It is. So come down to the Demore Museum and discover what we have here at the museums. Will do. Maggie, thanks so Thank much. Thank you.